Would I recommend this motor? Do I think it was worth every penny? Pull this out. If you drop it, she gone. I'm not getting paid to say this whatsoever. Uh, I'm not a fan of sponsorships because then they're, they're just buying your opinions. Buddy Propulsion, if you want to uh, kick down your next model up, I'd be willing to give her a little test run for you. This takes up no room whatsoever. You try to do a review and then you get cat called from shore. The benefit of boating this late in the season, nobody is here. What's up guys? Welcome back. Sorry, a little dark in here. Back to our semi-regular scheduled programming. We're gonna do the final, uh, if I can get it here. Just my final little end of the season overall review of the E-Propulsion E-Lite. If I can get this zipper undone here. And of course the case is on backwards. Let's get to the boat and then we'll start talking. All right, we made it to the dinghy. Mosey out here a little bit. All right, so my first over, I guess my impressions for the summer, entire summer, is I don't really have any major complaints. I mean, at this point, it's just gonna be nitpicking. The motor's fantastic for the price, everything. You get the space, you don't have any gas lines, no batteries, no battery cables. Everything's just all self-contained. It may be me, maybe because I've been around the motor for quite a while now. Sorry, I didn't know if the sun was shining in the camera or not, but it doesn't seem to go as fast. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Yeah, no, we're fine. It does seem to run a little louder than it did when I first got it. Like I said, I'm just nitpicking. It's still quiet as heck. It's great. But it just seems to be the hum is a little louder. I don't know if the mic is picking that up or not. Can you hear that? Some of my nitpicking gripes. This piece down here just seems to be a little janky and loose. Um, over the winter, I don't know. Maybe we're supposed to lube this little shaft up here. Not quite sure. But I think the overall construction could have been maybe aluminum or stainless. It just every time, especially in this, when it's like I'm actually putting pressure behind it, and when you're in this angle up, super stiff to turn. It feels like I'm gonna break something every time. There is a set screw under here. I did try to fiddle with that a little bit. Didn't really seem to help too much. It just, this whole thing. It should be made out of stainless or aluminum. I think it would be better. I mean, probably, I mean, for the price what we paid for it, why it's so cheap is because cost production costs are probably pretty cheap so they're just maybe passing it along to the consumer i don't know um and these um, these brackets seem to come loose it may be just because these are finally giving in a little wearing so you have to tighten them up but i also wish there was a, a little keyhole or something a hole to lock this oh, sorry yes. i'm spinning in reverse right now but a way to, to lock this on, just so nobody would steal the bracket if somebody needed a bracket. Um, I only had one instance where I hit something and the prop got a little dinged. Don't really notice it too much. Um, and this darn magnet. Um, it's just, there's nothing to it. it. Comes off too easy. All right, so we're at 300 watts. And when I was talking about it being super stiff, like even with this angle, super stiff. I may, we may have to lube up that uh, shaft somehow, a little grease in there or something. But when you bring it down to zero, nothing, <clears throat> super easy, super easy. So would I recommend this motor? Absolutely for myself or for somebody that does something similar. We are on a, our body of water is a lake, Inland Lake. Would I recommend it for sea water or out in sea, big lake? Yeah, sure, why not? It'll get you to shore if you need to go to shore. It's not gonna get you there very fast, but it'll get you there. Uh, we did not use the charging port. I mean, only used it once. I think you scroll back a couple videos. It does charge a phone and it charges a phone fast. Um, so I don't know what the amperage is out on that, but it's it's got some output. It's pretty good, but we love it. I love it. I would definitely recommend it. There's no, like I said before, there's you have no battery, no battery cables for a trolling motor. You don't have any gas for a kicker motor. You just, you have 
all the space. This takes up no room whatsoever. And the dinghy that we're using on is about is an eight foot dinghy. I believe it's an eight foot. That's yeah, about eight feet. Even a ten foot dinghy would work fine. He said, "You're not going anywhere fast. It's just, just to get around, get to shore. If you want to anchor up, it's perfect." Do I think it was worth every penny? Absolutely. It was nine hundred bucks. I think a thousand bucks with taxes and everything. But I had a little discount because I added to the shopping cart story on previous video. You can see how I got that. Uh, but got it out of Blue Marine out of Seattle. Oh, another little grape. I think the um, the little wrist things they give you could use some work and maybe a longer cable. I added a longer string and a floaty little wrist guard. I don't like to wear it. Usually just keep it here or throw it over here. But when you throw it here, it knocks off the magnet, the weak magnet. With the magnet on, you have to reset it. That is square one. Um, oh thinking of things on the fly here this little to adjust the trim angle there's a little pin here uh, i haven't done it yet but i would recommend putting this on a leash because i have i do shift this quite a bit on the fly and when you pull this out if you drop it she gone what are people staring at me for just a guy out here floating in a dinghy may look a little weird Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap it up. It's worth it. Um, I'll post a couple links in the description of where I purchased it. Some links to e-propulsion. Maybe they're coming out with a version 2 this next year. Except I'm just nitpicking the crap out of it. Um, another recommendation. Actually, another recommendation. With this dinghy, they do, you can adjust the motor up and down through here. So right now, it can't go any farther in the water. It would have been nice if maybe this is a little taller because I can only bring it up from here. I can't push it farther down in the water. There's only been one or two times where I wish it was a little higher, but then you can just pull this bad boy up. Let's see if I can do this while holding the camera. Get this damn thing out of the way. Pull this up. There's a little blue thing here. You pull that up, you can lock it. Then it's free flowing, so if you had to, it won't lock. Redo that. Locked. Now it doesn't come up. Like I said, at this point, just nitpicking it, it's uh, this is a fantastic motor for the price. I know a thousand bucks, nine hundred bucks. It seems like a lot of money, but for what you're getting in the entire package, I'm not getting paid to say this whatsoever. Paid full retail for it. Uh, I'm not a fan of sponsorships because then they're, they're just buying your opinions and dictating your opinions. Hundred percent worth it. Buddy propulsion. If you want to uh, kick down your forty horse or your uh, next model up be willing to give her a little test run for you so feel free to send some testing stuff my way i'll be happy to test it for you and i'll give you an honest review but i love it for this dinghy bex loves it our family our family consists of myself the old lady and the dog we love it absolutely love it and when i was out of town it was easy and light enough to set up for bex uh, she took our boating neighbor friends out on it nothing to it i mean my videos aren't super informative Maybe they are. I think it's 100% worth it. We're probably going to put it away after this uh, this weekend. I don't know how to store it for the winter. I don't know if I'm supposed to drain the battery. I'll have to look in the manual for that. Or you just let it die naturally. Um, but we'll keep. We'll store it indoors. We're not going to store it in the shop. Cold destroys things. Somebody's cooking something delicious. It smells delicious, at least. Hero footage. You can kind of see how flimsy this is. But it'd be nice to tighten that up a little bit. It's on and installed correctly like it should be. Still kind of flimsy. Feels like I'm gonna break it. Now if S were to hit the fan and we were in a hurry, people were stressing out, I could totally see this breaking off and bloop, 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 into the lake it goes. I do like this feature, I didn't mention this. So the tiller arm does extend out. There's a little button on the side here. That sounds probably in your way. Little button, push, pull, but it doesn't lock. I wish it would. It just, you grab it and it can, it slides back. You fight it. It would be nice if it did lock out there. Again, like I said, I'm nitpicking. And this tiller arm does lock in certain positions. You don't have to have it locked. 
stuff here. This little keyway here. It's a little keyway. Twist. You can lock. Just turn it up and down. It has a little arrow which way you can go, either way. And then it free flows, so it moves all moves all around. Whichever way you want to go. Oh, see? You witness how easily I knocked that off. Maybe if this was positioned up here somewhere or I don't know. Bad spot for it. Actually, out of the entire summer and out of all my gripes, the magnet, number one on the list. Numero uno. Even if it was up here, put it right there or something. I, I don't know. If you have this motor and, and uh, you experience something similar or you got different gripes, leave a comment. But the magnet is, that's probably the, the major only gripe I have. And as far as the battery goes, we've never exhausted it. We've gotten down to 20. 40, 30, 20%, something like that. Uh, we've never exhausted and we've used it quite a bit. The hyper mode, I guess you call it, where you can get up to 750 watts. Never really used that. That was, that's as fast as it'll go. I'd put an overlay display on the uh, screen, but I can't. Cause I forgot to turn the GPS on the phone. But I guess I'd probably about three, four miles an hour. Our p -doc neighbors. You try to do a review and then you get cat called from shore. Ready? Yep. Are you going to stand up there? I know, I saw that. Cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'll finish this. That was it. Basically just nitpicking. Everything was fine except for the magnet. I don't know how many times I said magnet, but I said magnet a lot. Now back to whatever, boating. Sorry, battery died. We are on the boat for the last time this season. Going to dinner. Probably gonna be the last nice weekend too. Famous. The benefit of boating this late in the season. No one's here. Nobody is here. Nobody's on the water. I don't know. We love people. Yeah. If we do get a couple more nice weekends, I don't know. It's going to be uh, day by day. It's all so water level. It's already worked out. Well, it's weather. The winter rise is already all worked out and planned out. So, tentative heads up what's going to be pulling it this week. Well, this coming up week. So, I think that would be like 10 or not to this to slip. Could be, yeah. Or we uh, summarize these knots one and trailer that around and put that in a slip. This is more of a handful, though. Yeah. More of a handful to uh, deal with. So, the other boat is easier to deal with. That would be fun. It's possible. Yeah, we still own the other boat. I was talking to uh, somebody about it today. People are hoarding their money or they're buying newer stuff. Yeah, and for the price, you're basically buying the trailer and you're getting the boat for free. Yeah, so maybe when we pull this one, we'll pull the other one out of storage and put that in the slip. We'll see. I, don't know. I doubt it. But it's fun to think about. Maybe singing with the Canadian tuxedo. That's not sick. Beautiful. It's nice for last weekend. 
and the crazy dog. Yeah, you've you been a crazy dog? You've been a crazy dog? Tawa. guys well we are starting to slowly button up the boat for the year hatch covers are on I'm taking the rug stuff home coming down this weekend or not this weekend midweek sorry you can't see me to literally yank everything off the boat get it ready for wind rise get ready to pull it'll either get pulled this week or next week but Oh, sorry, it's dark down there. You can't really see. Been a great summer. These nuts. The bed. I. S oh, yep. I got my tool bag. Yep. We'll be back down. I gotta yank all this canvas off. Put the camper on. All right. That's gonna do it for this video. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, can't see me. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>